Hey everybody, can you guys hear me okay? I guess so, right? Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying a new camera. Those are Revo Whites. How are you? Ryan Lion, Devness, Blind Joker, how are you guys? So those are Revo Whites actually. And I'm sorry about the camera that I'm using for the side view. Uh, we still have the, the top view, hold on. So we're, we're debuting this camera that I um, just reinstated here. So we'll have a side view and a regular top view that you guys are used to. Um, but I decided to use this top view because we are going to have to... Let me lower the music a little. Yeah, how are you Devness? It's been a while. So we're gonna be using this camera here because I'm gonna be soldering some diodes and um, I decide, I think that this side view will be better. Um, so yeah, pretty excited to do this. This Mimi board here, uh, this is the Alpha 28. Um, thanks Dav Davinus. Yeah, I used to use this camera a long time ago, but not anymore. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so let me put, we, we will be using this 3D printed case uh, from a very gifted designer, designer called Soft. And you're gonna see that eventually, you know, from time to time, that little focus uh, scanner thing is gonna appear. That's something with my camera that I cannot deactivate. So bear with me, okay? All right. So let's start with those diodes. For the diodes, um, what I'm gonna use here is a 3D printer, printed diode bender. I don't know if you guys ever saw this. This is pretty handy. Basically, you get this and you put your diodes on it. Like uh, so, on the, not here, but on the bottom piece. Like this. I don't see if you guys can follow this, let me point to the camera here, let me focus, let's see, so basically you put those diodes, oops, on here, like so, <laughs> hey, Young Shower Cap, how are you? Thank you for joining. Yeah, this, this helps a little. So now what you do is you put this piece on top here. Make sure this one is not... So you put this second piece on top of them and then basically you press it down. This is supposed to help you bend all the switches at once. So yeah, then you take it out and hopefully you have bent switch, bent diodes. You have also a broken diode, <laughs> like so. And then allegedly this makes it better to See here. All right. Get this. And then, of course, you guys know this, but uh, you have to always. You would prefer hand bending? Yeah, that's. That, you don't. You don't have to use it. I, I have been using this for some time, but yeah, it's not flawless, as you could see. And you're welcome to continue bending them the way you please. Why you're not in VoIP with us? I didn't even know that you guys were in VoIP. What are you guys talking about? So I'm gonna put this um, so we can insert those diodes. <laughs> really? You guys are talking about Italina. 
Wow. Ritalin, I think, is the name, right? We retards. Yeah, you should be very scared, Panda. How are you, by the way? Thank you for joining. It's it's kind of handy. So if anyone watching this doesn't know already, uh, you have to pay attention to the orientation of the diodes, right? Always put the black stripe facing where these two stripes are. I made a lot of mistakes with diodes when I built my first boards. I would always have at least one diode facing the wrong direction. So I learned the hard way. And I don't know if you noticed, Panda, but I, I am using my side camera again. At least for this stream, I thought it would be helpful so we can switch between the top view and the side view. <laughs> yeah, ex that too, because I always lean forward, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't, I didn't even think about that, but you're right. That's a pain in the ass. Oh, no problem, Wix. My pleasure. It was like a super, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be, to be honest. I may mostly just compiled it and it worked. Hey, Tem Tefrem, how are you? So, Wix and Tefrem, thank you guys for joining, by the way. Hey, Bell Emers, how are you? Thank you, for joining. Thank you for joining. Yeah, so I'm finally getting around to build this guy. I have been meaning to for quite some time. Nice, nice, nice. So notifications are working, I assume. The Fano, it's not a build, right? It's the unboxing? I do not have the character that you used. Yeah, I'm boxing. Uh, looking for, hey, Demon, how are you? To check the keycaps you're going to use, I'm kind of frustrated with keycap selection. So for this small board, I'm gonna use some PBT black on whites. So they're gonna be pretty simple keycaps, but very nice at, at, at that. Oh no, I, I don't like DSA much. With the one exception for DSA milkshake. I just managed to get some kits 
of TSA Milkshake, and I'm really excited to try it. But I, I am a cherry, almost only cherry guy. I, I do like MT, M MT3, and I also like the new um, cat profile. So how many more do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, we have exactly eight. Look at that. Let me bend those remaining ones. Yeah, that, that was a group buy, and I actually was stupid enough to pass it when it ran. I did that de deliberately because I don't like DSA, but the kit is so amazing that I got really frustrated as well. And I managed to get uh, four different kits yesterday at um, on Mac Market, but I, I am not even sure if that's enough to cover one keyboard, so... We'll see about that. Uh, let's see. I like my use of plus for my mods on alpha. Feels clean. I don't like how greedy this laser edge DSA it say feels on the alpha. Yeah. I I don't know as well. But I I can show you what I what I think I'm thinking I'm going to use as for my layout. Basically, I will replicate what I do for my for my if it makes to here but you can see on the top camera for my gherkin I'm gonna try and replicate what I do there and I can talk a little bit about how I plan on doing my my, my key map Gherkin. I bought a kit from QLavier, which is a nice kit and all, but I think use it a macro keyboard or something. As a developer, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. I don't use it all the time, but I can use it and I can show you what, how. But no, I wouldn't use it for, for developing. I think the 40%, like a daisy, is the bare minimum. But I, it can be used. Like I... I took on the challenge to use it to program the other day and I couldn't manage doing it. There are a few things that bother me, like the backspace, uh, and I'll talk more about that once we build this guy. So I'm just gonna do a quick round check to see if I have all the diodes facing the right direction. As I said, I am known to neglect that when it's too late. So I like to do a double check. All right, let me turn on my soldering iron. I'm just trying to untangle it a little bit. Yeah, rum hole usage is nice. I don't do that. I, I know that people did a lot of tweaks on the home roll. I don't do it that way. What do you use Tefram, if not QWERTY? Do you use one of those, those Azerty, whatever thingies?
Let me get a fan going here. Give me one second, guys. We also put away this diode bender. Coal mark, okay. Oops, I'm sorry, I just bumped onto the camera and I, I have a feeling that's gonna happen often since I'm not used to this camera beside me. Yeah, the, the location of the B, yeah. Good thing that I am, I have played with my gherkin before that, and I somewhat got used to it. But you're basically forced to do touch typing with, with that, at least my, that's my take. That thumb space never quite sits right with me. I always do. Oh, there I bump the camera again. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm super sorry about that. Let's see if I can make it in a way that my chair. Okay, that seems to be better now.
my main gripe with Comark and not exclusively with Comark, but with Ortho and all of that is what happens if you need to use a regular keyboard, right? I could, I can use Ortho uh, if I do the touch typing approach because I'm not used to touch type on staggered. So I can find myself going back and forth, even though my speed is not great in ortho with touch typing, I still managed to do it and have those both at the same time. But if I went with Comark, I don't think I would be able to go back to QWERTY. So that's why I don't even try to use any of those other um, layouts. Yeah, and I love Cherry too much as well. So I think all the diodes are soldered. Let me do a quick check. Oh no, I see one missing here. like we're done oh another one hey did someone just cheer hey it, it had to be 111 for from talisman sorry i missed it on screen and thank you for joining talisman how are you i was missing you right All good? Glad to hear. Another one missing here. Oh, I forgot one completely, both sides of this one. All right, looks like we got them all now. Let's uh Flip this to the other side. Let me see, maybe the top view for this will be better. Yeah, let me zoom in and then let me take this here. So those helping hands here are uh, from this company called, called Nordstrom. They are on Amazon and they are flexible. I like them and they are not very expensive. I can link you that later if you want. But if you'd look for that name, Nord, uh, oops, and I just bumped on my fan. If you, if you look for Nordstrom and helping hands, I think you'll be able to find it.
think I have that adjustable circuit holder as well. I think I know which one you're talking about. But I just think this flexible one for some for some stuff is better. Not so much for other stuff. Hey Luke, how are you? Thanks for joining, man. I do recommend the ones I use, uh, especially if you need more than two supports. I'm awesome as well. Looking forward to have this thing built. All right, so I guess the next step here is doing the Pro Micro. Let me see here. I just wish I had a Pro Micro that is not micro USB. I, I ordered some Elite C's, but um, yeah. Just realized I'm doing this on the wrong side. Let's see here. Uh, no, but uh, the latest, the le you know, the last times that I tried, I didn't have any issues flashing them with QMK uh, toolkit, but we'll see. Again, I, I was flashing mine on um, on Mac, and uh, maybe I'll try to flash this one with Windows. I don't know yet. Uh, quick question: It's been a while since I last soldered a Pro Micro. Do you guys prefer to solder the Pro Micro to the pins first, to the headers? I don't know the name of those things uh, and then solder it to the board or do you keep the pro micro here and then you solder the headers first what do you guys usually do <laughs> yeah that deck this camera that I'm using here it's not really a camera prepared for a stream it's a Canon 80d so sometimes you'll see a tracking focus. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't have that on my cam. Yeah, I, I had issues before, but I'm lucky enough to have a, and I do have, look at, I can show you. I have this folks here, but my main concern about it is if it's gonna be, because if, if we do this, it's gonna be high higher than what it is right now. Let me show you. I, I was gonna use that. But if I solder this here, we get another, I don't know how much centimeters. And my main fear is that if we do that, it's not gonna fit. We can, we can actually measure that, but I am almost sure that it's not gonna fit the case. You see, it's too high. Oh, they have uh, sips that I flush. I don't know those. But let's do a quick measurement. And again, I had issues with Pro Micros before that I had to desolder, and ha having the desoldering gun makes it, you know, less painful, if you will. Let me see if we do it this other way around. Uh, so I just noticed that the notifications are not appearing. Thank you so much, Talisman, for the gift sub. Let me copy the notifications over because 
We cannot leave without them. Yeah, they should be. Oh, I see why. Hold on. Notifications should be here. Okay, so we're, we're gonna see notifications now. And thank you so much again, Talisman, for the gift sub. So keep, keep IO sells them. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna look for them for next builds. So I'm having a hard time. Oh, hold on. Is it supposed to be? No, it isn't. I was fearing this was. Hey, Tasachka. Thank you so much for hosting. Yeah, I'm having a hard time pushing it. Let me see if the pins are... I think we're gonna have issues here. I've been doing this the, uh, the wrong way all along. How stupid am I? Man, sometimes I do such stupid, stupid stuff. I was trying to push it wrong. Of course, it's never gonna fit. All right, we're past that now. So let's see if we use this header here, those sockets, and then we put the pro micro here. Yeah, it's gonna be too high. Can you guys see? So no, we're gonna have to go the other way. Uh, isn't the <laughs> blind joker? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Panda already knows I'm stupid, so sometimes he helps me. Thank you for helping me this time. Is Blackpink coming to Brazil? Who is Blackpink? All right, let's do the soldering. <laughs> Just making sure that I'm soldering it the right way. There we go. Maybe we can solder the Pro Micro first and then. That's probably not going to work. No idea what Blackpink is.
Yeah, really flush. So let's solder it to the board. You're an international software consultant. I guess so. This is nowhere near flush, so we failed here. Hold on, I need... You guys can't see what I'm doing, and I'm sorry. Let me move to the top view. So the the Pro Micro wasn't flush, um, so now it is. So now I can finish soldering the the other pins. Hey Teshaka, thank you so much for the Tesachka. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Okay. Hey W Maples, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us from the 40% keyboard um, Discord.
And I just realized I did it wrong, didn't I? Hold on, let's see. No, I didn't. This is wrong. I, I soldered the Pro Micro the wrong way. It's supposed to be the other way around, right? With the USB facing down. Oh yeah, the 40% is really nice. 40%. So I'm thinking I did this wrong. Let me just triple check here. Yeah, this is definitely wrong. Let me desolder this real quick. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Um, so the right way would be to solder it with the uh, USB down so it would fit even with the switches. So that's why I'm desoldering it. It's a good thing I only soldered uh, two pins. Yeah, much better, right? So, let's see. Yeah, now even with the switches on, can you guys see? This is perfect. <laughs> I saw that one coming, Panda. At least I can fix my, my mistakes, right? Imagine if I was not able to, or if I soldered the whole thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. I need to solder the switches. <laughs> Thank you, Tefrim. I almost fucked up again. <laughs> I totally hear you. Oh, me too. It's just been too long since I did Pro Micro builds. No, it hasn't. I did the, uh, I did the uh, Gherkin, but that one was I did the, uh, I put on the I forgot the name of the, the thing that allows you to put in and take out the Pro Micro. Hey, Yuk, how are you? <laughs> Pintut. <laughs> Don't solder the switch. Put a zip socket. You mean a hold tight? I didn't do that on any of my builds, but I might as well do it now. But the whole tight side of painting the ass to install. But let's do it for science. Let me see if I can find my whole tights. 
Give me one second, guys. I have these whole tights here that I never tried, I think. I don't know if they will fit. This guy's here. I have the other model as well, but you see this one? I didn't try these. Yes, I, I'm just gonna do on that switch. So we can try this. Let me see if I have the other model. Give me one second. I should. Too much crap. Okay, I think I found it. But I think those are for LEDs. Take a look. I don't know if those are for LEDs or switches. Do you guys know? Yeah, I'll try to, because I have two. I have one for LEDs. Wow, that's better, right? I have one for LEDs and one for switches. Let me see which one this is. Yeah, and I think those are fine. Let's see. Those are hold tights. I think that's how people call them. I'm not sure. Yeah, so those are definitely switch. They're not LEDs. Mainly reason because they fit exactly on the switch hole. I'll see if I can show you this. Uh, can you guys see right here how it sits nice there? So the way uh, you cannot solder them here because they, uh, they you were going to put solder inside them. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember how I did it. I did it on my Pearl, but there's a right way of soldering them. Let me see if I remember. So I think you need to put them first and then put solder. I don't remember. Put the switch in maybe, let's see. Yeah, I did it before. I have a, uh, I have a, what's the name of that thing? Uh, the pearl that I did that. So you put some solder on the contact and then you, but isn't that the way uh, that you let solder go in to the thing? Yeah, I think that's the way I did. I'm just wondering what happens if I try to put a little bit of solder here like that. Let's see.
Yeah, I think this way it solders the switch inside. I think that's what just happened. Since I can't take it out. So, no, that's not the way. Let me move you guys to the top camera. Okay, the good thing is that the uh, hold tight stay there. Let me see if now I can put it in and take it out. Yep. So one of them is properly soldered. Let's see if I can get to the other one. have an IPC class 3 certification in through hold and SMI issue could show you maybe later on stream when I stream my build. So let me read what you said. I would solder it from the other side, hit the gold cup, let the solder flow around and down. Okay. But I think we are good. I would just maybe add a little more solder to this guy here let me see oh and i think a little bit of solder went in this time yeah and i think it clogged one of them I don't think we'll be able to push it all the way this time. Let's see. Yep. You see the one on the right? Let me show you guys. So the one on the right doesn't go in anymore. Oops, I'll take that back. It just worked. So maybe we did it. Hold on, let me pull it out. Yeah, of course it went in. The So I fucked up the whole switch now. Let me show you guys. The, the pin, this pin went in. So I think the leaf, oh, I'm sorry. You see that the leaf went in. So I'll have to get another switch. Do you see? Maybe I can, I can put the leaf back on its place, but I don't know. I'll see. Let's see what happened here. I'll take a look at that video right now. Let me just see if I can salvage this, which I don't think I can. Yeah, we'll need another switch. So let me grab another switch. And we basically just need the housing because the rest is already looped. So let me just do that transplant. Yeah, I bent the the leaf. So I'm watching what Panda sent me. Give me one second. Yeah, so he's doing what Panda described. Let's see. Ah, right. There is a part. Yeah, I remember now. That's exactly what I did for my for my pearl. So basically, what you do, you solder. The whole thing let me take this guy out 
So you solder the pad and then you remove the, the solder with a solder remover. So the, the pad itself contain, it still has some solder, but it doesn't go through the hole, in the middle of the hole, if you will. So let me do that. Um, let me move you guys back to the top view. Let me first try to remove this guy. Yeah, it's not getting enough heat, so let me try from this side. Okay, it's out. Now let's do what uh, Panda linked. Uh, we already have solder inside. I think you guys can see it here. Uh, so let me heat it up and take out the solder from the hole itself. And the main problem here is that the pad is really thin, so I'm gonna do it from this side. And I think we're good already. So let me grab another, another hole tight. <laughs> Come on, Panda, take, take your merits. Don't say it was easy, say it was hard. You had to go to the dark web and you have a contact there that is the only guy who knows how to do that. Those kinds of things, that's how you have to say. So the main thing here that I had to do for my pearls as well is make sure that you solder it touching the top of this thing, of the pad, because otherwise it's not going to fit. So you have to make sure that you push it to the top. And it's kind of hard to do. I remember I had to do that for the pearl. Let's see. Okay, I think I did it. Don't know how well, but let's find out. Oh, it went out from the whole motherfucker. So I think I'll have to take it out again and put a little bit more solder. There's not enough on the bottom. Let me add a little bit more solder here. Bear with me. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's pretty shiny now. So once again, let's try it. OK, 
Okay, so it's exactly on the position I want it to be. All right, I think we're good. Let's see, pushing it in. Yep. I think we're good. Let me show you guys. So this is the bottom view. And I think both of the pads are soldered, even though the left one has just a tiny bit, but still makes contact to the pad, so I think we're gonna be good. So there we go, all right. Okay, I think we are done. Oh no, you're not. Let me solder the Pro Micro and solder the right way. There we go. This is to make it hot swap. Yes, Bellamaris. Sorry, I'm, I've not been following chat. I was trying to get the whole tights working. Especially the, the switch that's gonna be behind the Pro Micro. All right. Okay, time to start soldering the switches. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, the 301 is the one I own. It's uh, it's a very good one. Oh, I almost forgot the stab. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Another rookie mistake. Yes, uh, the one, I think the one you're talking about is the DZ915, uh, isn't it? People bought it on eBay for $100, if that's the one you're talking about. And I used one for a long time and it worked fine. It's just that the FR301 is just a lot better. How are things going? Going well. Uh, I installed a Hotite on the switch that goes behind the Pro Micro. So hopefully that will be easier to replace if we ever have to. But things are going well so far. After the Pro Micro fiasco that I did, <laughs> uh, things are better now. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we have another potential issue here. Let me see if that's really gonna be an issue. I think I think it will not. Let's see if I can push it through. Apparently I can, which is great.
Right, let me get to soldering this switches that we already have. And then we'll take it from there. Just realize this is gonna be kind of tricky to solder because I already glued the top piece to the bottom piece. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. So I think what makes the FR301 so good is the is the vacuum pump, like the, how much he can suck or the suction uh, itself, and it's uh, it's easier to clean. So yeah, I think those are the major things with the uh, FR301. But I must say that the DZ. Um, 915 is a really good compromise for the price. I don't know if the FR301 is three times better than the DZ915. So there's that. Oh, that I didn't know about the FR300, that they were dying. I know Anthony has the FR300 for quite some time now. I'm almost sure he does.
So let's see. We'll get fixing pins are a pain in the ass to put in. Yes. They are they are way larger than the rest. So you have to do a lot of put a lot of strength to make the go in flesh. So this is the switch uh, that we did the hot tights. Yep, working fine. Hopefully it will actuate as well. <laughs> Oh, because, because of this, if I ever want to change, yeah, but now I see that I made another mistake. This guy has two switches behind it. And we are now fucked because I don't think I can reach the pads. So I'll have to desolder this. Yay. from the top you mean the whole tights I don't think the pads are on the bottom I can try I can definitely try let's see let's try that first Problem is that there is not there is not enough pad on the top, but let's try. Okay, one is good. Let's see the other one. Almost. Yeah, there is not much um, solder left, but let's try it. And I think this guy is hitting the 
Pro Micro somehow. It's not flesh like the other one. So we have a problem regardless. So this switch is going to be a little higher. Let me see. No, I don't think it's that noticeable. So let's move on. Let's do the other one. What happened? Did someone sub? Because I missed it. So whoever subbed, thank you. So I need to take a little more soda out. PHLF, Rafael or something. <laughs> Thank you. I never know your your name other than that, those are initials. So if it isn't Rafael, I'm sorry. Okay, I think we are good. We may have gotten away with this. It is a little a bit high to be honest but let's see what we can do let's see how bad it looks in the end so this soldering avoided for now but I'll leave this here you know, just in case Rafael, Rafael Feima. I can't be in two places at the same time, man. And I am short one switch? No, I think so. I don't think so. And I thought one of those switches had a bent pin. Maybe I was wrong. Here we go. To the final stretch. Just. Okay, question. Sure. How shitty are Yawk Springs? That is a good question. I am not sure. I have only tried individual switches. And I honestly don't remember. Why you ask?
I have two switches and I can say both of them are pretty pingy. Could you just loop? Maybe. What is the... Is the weight of the stock springs? Hey, Poppy Lazna, thank you so much for the follow. People are competing for who can sell a certificate for more. Damn, are they that high? I own a certificate kit, but I'm not selling mine. All right, let's put uh, before we put some caps on. Let's just see if we can test this. Uh, I need a mini cable. Let me find one. Micro cable, actually. What? Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Man, people are stupid. I have one micro here, but I don't think it's gonna fit the case. Let's see. Oh well, it does. Great. And it's a horrible cable, but I can't find a fancy right now. Was that only the base kit?
Okay, let's see if we can program this guy. The open QMK toolkit. We compile. Um, make alpha twenty eight default. So they are 60 grams. Okay, if they're 60 grams, so there is no alpha 28. Let me see, maybe I need to pull. Alpha, okay. Got it, yeah, sorry. I just realized. Um, tools. my QMK2 kit. Toolbox, not two kit. I always say it wrong. So I don't think I have it. Is that even possible? Uh, releases. Yeah, I tried that 60 grams for sure. Alpha default dot X. Let's plug this guy in. Let's enable auto flash. And then we can short the correct pins. So it is plugged. Uh, let me see. Which one are, is the reset pin? Let me get the pin out for Pro Micro. Oh, I have another Pro Micro here. I can probably check there. So reset is the third and second here. So let me short them and see if the QMK toolkit recognizes it. Second and third. Uh, nothing. Can't, yeah, the light is on on the Pro Micro. Let me check. Maybe I'll have to do it on my Mac. We'll see. Mm. Yeah, ground and reset. I am sure I am. Let me see if the light goes out when I. No. If you use Linux, you would you would not need the switch. Really? Why is that? Uh, I'm gonna try it on my Mac. Let's see what happens when I do it on my Mac. Maybe this cable is bad as well, I don't know. Let me open QMK toolkit here. Toolbox, not toolkit. Uh, let me build the firmware here on my Mac. CD QMK firmware, 
make alpha default. Let's see. Auto flash. Let's reset this. No, not doing anything. Okay, that's odd. I don't know what the deal is. Let me try with a loose pro micro just in case. Yes, it is upside down, but what I did is I got reset and ground are those two pins here. So I am resetting those two here, there. So let me reset this one just to see if that changes anything. I don't see this one re resetting as well. Am I doing it wrong? Uh, I try to rotate them weekly. I'm, I have the reset and the ground. But it doesn't seem to be resetting. Let me show you guys here. So, hold on. So, look. Um, let me... Uh, they do not have a reset button, no. So, reset and ground are here. So, second and third buttons. Reset. Oops, let me put this one here on reset. And then I'm going to touch ground. And usually one of those things, those those things blink, but I'm not seeing that happening on this Pro Micro or the one that I'm using right now. What does that even mean? I mean, I just did that for the Gherkin and it worked like that out of the box. So I am not sure if those, let me see. Yeah, and I think all the Pro Micros that I have are all the same. Now I'm not sure what's happening, what's going wrong here. Uh, what should I try? Yeah, <laughs> that's number one, you're right. Maybe this is a charging only cable, who knows. This is a Logitech cable. I believe it's for a webcam, so this shouldn't be charge only. Let's see if that makes any difference. Ah, okay. So we got the tan 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 that we didn't get earlier. So I believe that the cable was the culprit. Yeah, uh, QMK2 box recognized it now. Yay! <laughs> so let's touch the pins we need to touch. 
Yeah, and then uh, AVR dude didn't recognize it because there is an error on the command line for. Yeah, let me let me try it on my Mac. I know that the Windows. Uh, I can show you guys what's going on. So I plug it on my Mac and it's already trying to flash it. Uh, no, it, it tried the wrong thing. Now it's going to the right one. I don't know what the deal is, but it's not. Attempting to flash, let's see. Yep, flashed. On my Mac it was almost instant. Let's go back to Windows so we can do a little test off the switches. Let me move this to the side and let me grab a browser. So key or tester. Let me bring up the constraint capture. Oh, the capture is not working. So hold on. Let's see. So this key is not working. We're, we're getting we're getting a short. I don't you when I type enter, a lot of keys are, are being pressed. Maybe it's a bad diode, I don't know. I'm checking the diodes right now, but they appear to be all good, especially, especially around that key. Okay, I'm gonna continue to see if any other keys are bad. Okay, so th there is definitely now something shorting everything because all the keys now are acting like multiple keys. That's super odd. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought was the whole tights, but not sure. Maybe the whole tights are touching the Pro Micro. Yeah, the only thing not actuating is the enter, but I think this is function on the default key map, so we may be good. Let me double check. Yeah, I think we will be good. Sticky keys, okay. Let me see. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening here. Huh, so sorry, Pyro. So I'm at. <laughs> so yeah, it feels like I am. I am doing sticky keys. So let let's do this. Let me see if I can share my screen. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like I can. So let me let me try to copy the. What I'm doing for my Gherkin to the to the alpha. Hold on. Let me. Code. Okay. So I'm no longer seeing my screen. So I don't know. What's going on? Uh, but I believe you guys can see my code editor here. I'm just not used to this thing in Windows, so bear with me. Let me open up. Let me just, first of all, git reset hard, git pull. And let me get my Gherkin, uh, git reset, 
abort. Git rebase abort. Git pull no rebase. Cool. Now let's open my Gherkin. Mr. Kipso. Yeah. I hate Windows. Where is Gherkin here? Oh, it's inside 40% keyboards, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 40% club. Where is Gherkin? Gherkin. Key maps, Mr. Kibbs. So let's copy keyboards, 40% uh, club. Um, Gherkin. Key maps, Mr. Kibbs to keyboards alpha oh so git pull no rebase upstream master so now let's copy keyboards 40% club gherkin uh, key maps one Gherkin key maps, Mr. Keebs to keyboards, alpha, alpha, key maps. All right, let's see. Alpha, Mr. Keebs, key maps, C. All right, so view, editor layout, split right. So let's put the default key map for the alpha here and let's see my key map on the right I think it's gonna be basically the same thing that I do for my um, gherkin but instead of this being backspace and then having a space it's gonna be only that so we have now let's see we have four to the left and three to the right, so we don't have this key as well. All right, let's take out one of those. And take out this guy. And then, oh, let me just copy this, this layout only. So layout, and I need to take out two keys so we won't have this backslash here. And we need to take out one of the split spaces. Okay, let's save. Let's make Mr. So Alpha, Mr. Keeps. There are two down keys on layer one. Let me check. Yeah, I, I, I basically, the reason I do that is sometimes I, I mix them up. So I decided to make both down sometimes i press m sometimes i press m for for down at least on the on the gherkin i don't know how that's going to be here all right uh let me open this guy and we can try to flash it again on windows let's see how are they the same pin layout no i just copied over the key map not the whole thing so they are uh, it's inside of another folder now. Okay, let's put this. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back here. Let me go back to the top view. Let's plug this guy again. Okay, let's try and reset this. Let's just see if Windows will play nice. Yep, Windows worked. Let's see now.
Do I need to unplug and plug it again on Windows? Maybe. No, now it's not working. Nothing's working. Oh, fucking A. Why is that? I don't get it. Why wouldn't it work? Oh, motherfucker. Let me try it on the neck. I did check the cable, yes. Mm -hmm. No, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll try the default layout again. Maybe it's something with my layout. So let's try the default again. Did I close? Yeah, I think I closed QMK toolbox. Hold your horse, says my friend. I'm gonna try the default again before I even, even try that. So alpha default, let's reset this guy. What the heck? It did not flash this time. Let's try it again. Now it's not flashing anymore. Let's go back to the Mac. Uh, hold on. Let me go to TMK Toolkit. Let's try it. Yeah, on the Mac, it, it looks like it's flashing. Yeah, it flashed the default just fine there. So it's one of the those Windows things. Let's see. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll use it as is. Oh, did it just stop working? No. Let's put some keycaps on and do a little typing test and I'm going to try to finish debugging this guy later. All right. Let's go to back to OBS. All right. I'm going to put some keycaps on. Uh, I did test it when I received it, I believe. But no, I did not because it didn't have diodes. So no, I did not. some music back on. feels like it's a buffering issue it may be it, it, it makes sense
Yeah, th that makes sense. Alright, let's see, let me pause here, let me move this to the side. Oh, all right, here we go. Let me plug this back in and we'll see how it behaves. Yeah, you see, now I'm not pressing anything and it's doing something. So something is short, shorted. But I don't think I will have to time to diagnose this. You know what we could do as a last thing? I could take out the switches that are the, the ones with um, hot tights. Let's do that. And I think that it might as well be that because I kind of can see that it's touching something on the Pro Micro, that one switch. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to desolder this guy and I'm going to try to make the switches um, solder them properly and not use hot tights because I am almost sure that that is the cause of the problem. Sticky keys on Windows, but why does it only do that with this keyboard and not the other keyboard that I've been using for the for the stream? Yeah, and with that thing off, with those switches out, it's working fine. Everything is working fine. So it's almost sure that it, it is this bottom switch here, I think, because even E is working. But this one is the one where I, I noticed that the whole tie didn't go all the way through. Yes, that's exactly what I think, because E is working. But let's plug this guy. Now it started to short. Now D never stops. So somehow... And it, the switch just flew all over. Let's see what I can do. I could disorder this, but I just don't have the time. I need to leave in a few minutes. So I will do it offline, off camera. I will get my soldering gun, you know, take out all those pins. I take this out. I'm going to solder this, th these two switches, take out the whole tights. I blame you, Panda. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do not. 
But you know, for for clo for closure, what we can do is have a little typing test with, without the keyboard being plugged, just to see how good it sounds. Let's do that. So let me put this out. Let's see. Uh, I will. Maybe I'll even stream that. I just need to leave in a few minutes. I need to have dinner. So let's see. See, I triggered you. No, man, you, you rescued me. Let me see, do I have the desoding gun here? Let's see, I'll start to start desoldering. My, my wife is changing clothes because we need to leave. But while she do, does that, let's see how far I can go on desoldering this guy. Yeah, at least it sounds good. They are linears, yes. So that is the time where I turn the music back on because. <laughs> uh, and of course it didn't work out of the box because some of the pins are probably still soldered where's my yeah this is soldered this is soldered yeah most of them are still soldered let me see where's my arm uh.
<laughs> Digital influencer. Yes. This thing is super dirty. That's why I didn't pull the solder. We're almost through, let's see. Right, there we go. So we have our thingy out. Let's uh, fix this guy. Hold tights out. Let me give you guys a zoom. I mean, if this is not quality entertainment, I don't know what is. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's working fine now. 
Uh, let me see. Let's do one final thing, then I need to run out of here. I'm already late for my dinner. Let's pause this. Move it to the side. Let me clean this a little bit the best way I can. There's a spring here. It's like a thingy here. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's uh, restart this guy. How do we do that? Let's reload it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do it my way because otherwise we're not even going to hear the... Okay, something I pressed, I'm on another layer now, so I don't know. Hold on, not even sure where I am. Yeah, I am definitely on another layer. Hold on, I'm sorry, Pyro. I don't know how to get back to layer one, so. I just changed <laughs> layers again. Let's see. Now I don't know how to get back to the first layer. So I need to unplug and plug it again. But I think you guys got the idea, right? I don't want to overdo it because... All right. Uh, sorry for the all the mess up that I did during this stream. Uh, I did a lot of wrong things that you shouldn't do. But again, I am no expert. I just have a lot of keyboards that doesn't make me an expert. But in the end, I'm glad it worked out. Um, v goes back. Okay. You better be sorry. <laughs> I am super sorry. I really apologize, guys, for the, um, for the time this took. Um, and thank you for staying with me here. All through this, uh, we have a working thing. I just need to, uh, you know, uh, uh, find a way to flash my own layout here. Uh, as you guys saw, that didn't work. But I think we're very close. At least we got to disorder this, fix one of the keys. And you guys also enjoy your weekend. And thank you for putting up with me for so long. This was a semi-disaster. I'm glad we recovered in the end. And yes, I'll see you guys on Discord. Thank you so much for joining and have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.